Hey guys, Tyrup here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Crossing in the Woods. Playing today spawn in the south, we have PS3, yes, playing as Soviets, who has combined arms, mechanized support and guard motor. Teaming up with him is Baton, playing as Brits, who has mobile assault, one engineer, and Lin Lease assault. From the north, we have Laggy AR, playing as Osir, who has locked into Blitzkrieg straight away. And same story for Nima Frosh, also playing as Osir, but locking into Spearhead instead. In terms of rankings here, oh man, I was just looking at them. <laughs> it's a random team, I believe. Uh, Baton, rank 12, PS3, yes, 38. Laggy AR 24 and Nima 37. So Laggy AR and Nima have played as an arranged team in the past. A couple matches. I don't think this is an arranged team game for them. I don't know. They, I don't think they ever finished their placement matches. So Pretty high ranks all around though. And a lot of the usual suspects. Cast quite a few games with all of these players. In, in them. The new grenadier squad is ready. Okay, universal carrier coming up for Baton. Don't really want to be diving it head on into a MG42. You can see it's doing some pretty big damage. Section trying to flank around here. But it's taking a lot of damage from Grindias as it crosses the road. Now this is starting to get a little bit low. MG reloading. MG getting low. Not quite enough health there for Baton. Has to get out of there. And uh, looks like he has started his tech. So he doesn't have enough manpower to build engineers to repair this with. And this could be trouble. Nima coming across. Could look for a Faust perhaps. Here's a carrier backing down. A Vickers coming in. You don't see a Vickers too often. This early. Some nice suppression cooking. G42 now getting flanked by the penals. They come around the corner. Good cutoff play here though. Oh. Looked like that was very close to being a Faust. Oh, could even go down to small arms damage now. He's playing very risky. With that universal carrier. Yeah, that was too risky. Just backed it away to base. It would have been fine. Instead, just kept stopping, trying to make a little bit more damage out of it. Ends up losing it. Ranging inside the building. Uh, trying to muscle that out of there. People's arriving to assist. I've made in. Pretty good dodge. Good reaction times there for PS3, yes. Vic is coming in. Going for some Royal Engineers now, but there's nothing for them to repair anymore. I don't know if that's necessary. Maybe he's planning to go for... Oh. And go for AC as well as I was about to say. Very strange to go for an M3A1 against double OC start. Especially on a small map like Crossing in the Woods, you can't really get like really good value out of it. Chasing down squads on long retreat paths doesn't make any sense. Much better map for the sniper. And he's gone for a good commander for the sniper as well. You've got guards, just some light anti tank for it. You've got the recon plane, which is great for the counter sniping wars. Curious decision to go for the M3A1. The enemy is taking what we have secured. Some mines coming up for Baton. Decent idea. No sweeper yet for Laggy AR. Don't know if he saw that getting finished off. Pretty good timing on the 222 though. Nice and fast. Combat engineer trying to sneak around the corner here, trying to retreat. A fake rifle name from Nima. 
This time he lets it rip. Oh, and the combat engine is doing up going down as well. P3 is off for a rough start. Tom is building the AEC. So we'll have an answer to this 222 shortly. He's got the snaring squad nearby as well. Machine gun or EV1 as well could use the take aim. And a pretty fast 222 for Nima as well on the other side of the map. Some guards fielded. Coming in from the other side, maybe hoping to catch the squad on retreat, looking for the white, but the 222 coming back for it. Big burst of flame damage though. Unfortunately the flame is shooting at the, uh, the model that was in the death crit. Right, I think I'd probably take that, a Grandier white for a M3 a one at this stage of the game. Rifle nade out, maybe he's hoping to win this fight, doesn't manage to do so and doesn't trigger the mine that was very close by either. Vic is doing some decent damage, here comes the AEC. Very second 2 2 here though for Laggy AR. AEC should win this as long as it doesn't get Faustus. Just pushing in. Not quite enough damage to kill either of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not paying attention to the Grandiers, and down they go. Now the double 2 2 are in some trouble. The AEC coming in, looking to clean up. Oh. One goes down. The other one looks like it's going to get away. You would think that the double 2 2 would be a better answer to the AEC than they actually are, but not the case, you do need to rely on those snares as well for a bit more damage. Ideally get onto the rear armor as well. Ready for I think you need to get on the rear armor. Well done, Man, I'm forgetting but which armor the AC has exactly. Sprinting forwards, looking for the recruit on the machine gun, able to get it. A little bit slow on the retreat of that squad, could have gone down to the section blob so it does get out of there eventually to pop the tactical movement which is quite nice to see to get into that position to respond to the threat of uh, losing his machine gun easy dodge on the rifle nade though Bit of a waste of munis pretty good hold on the fuel so far from ps3s even under so much pressure guards looks like they did a good job against that 222 Going back to repair that now. Double squads for Nima, switching sides, good smoke. Gonna get Faustus, is not quite enough damage, he did repair just enough. Mine triggers but only knocks down one model in spite of two squads being right there. And uh, the AC does get away. If you want to go for double 2 2 2 against the uh, AC, like having a commander that has sprints can really help. I suppose Leg AI can use like tactical movement into Faust. A little bit more costly, perhaps. Harder to execute. Oh, look at how much damage they took in the negative cover. Pyo's down. Mine triggers in the center. No, oh, here comes the T70 for the follow-up. Do have a squad there with the Fausting potential. Going to keep it safe. Quick shoot down on the recon plane, very, very fast. He's trying to hide around the corner here. Pi's coming in for the repairs. Neither of the uh, Aussie players has an anti-tank gun at this stage though, so this is <laughs> quite risky. It's now a AEC and the T70. The double mortar half track strat for Nima. Thing is, you know, up against not a huge amount of support weapons on the Allied side of this stage. Let's see if you can get good value out of those half tracks. He's 
so he's pushing in quite aggressively now. And he's sidestepping their way across. Two's in here doing some big damage. Took quite a long time to repair up the AC. Finally ready to return to action. Again, without a Faustus squad nearby, the AC should be pretty good against this front fleet. Smoke out to safety. Looks like the Grenadiers managed to get the Faust off. Slowing down that T-70. And now I've got the pack rolling out from Nima. Not afraid of any of these grenades with LMGs yet either. It's kind of interesting. Damage from the AC in the center. But so far it has been pretty even in terms of map control as the splits. And it feels like both teams have lost a bit as well. So no clear winner at this stage. Maybe the allies are behind on the victory points. That's the worst of it. Ooh, would that have got the kill? It might have. Like the... Uh, you see, they've already taken a bit of damage. And the double two two twos. Want to pit up? Pretty good position for it on this map. Hide it behind the tree lines. Smoking out to safety here. No attack ground from the pack. Oh, there goes the two 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 though. Combat engineers did die though. And you also forced to retreat from Nima. Not much action on the other side of the map though. Oh, he's doing four kills, two kills. Ah, oh, not too bad. Haven't been on the field for that long. through the center could this be the end of one of these two two twos pop smoke attack rounds no attempt the enemy has taken our supply sector. Well, half track getting to work through the center now i've got the recon plane up for nema pack looking for some damage be careful with the guards there though. Guards go into firing positions mode. 22 getting in close, trying to force them away as fast as possible. And they drop a PTRS there. Looks like the Pies are going to pick that up. Greenies go down on the other side for laggy AR though. Double 22's in here, slicing and dicing. Pax over here as well. See, the double two twos are really assisting a lot against these friend up sections. And this is trouble for Baton. Smoke. Oh, main gun critted and some really good pins as well. Down goes the AEC. Pyos did die for laggy AR though. It was his anti tank, and then maybe he just built it. Looks like it's heading out to the field now, but. Too little, too late. T70 switching sides now. Did Nima rebuild his 222? I think he did, right? He lost one to the guards. Interesting. The recon mode here from the T70, providing some vision for the mortar pit to get to work. Greenie's using a med kit though. Nice to see from Laggy AI. Didn't want to have to retreat yet. You know, a bit of munitions in reserve. Can keep that field presence high. Just see any on the other side of the map, so all these light vehicles are quite safe over here at the moment. 
It's just rotating across now, though. More half tracks getting some pretty good hits in. Oh, good barrage from the mortar pit. Those green is very low. Pack trying to kill off the sandbags. Section's holding strong for the moment, though. Oh, there we go. He's disconnecting once. Backing off now. Doesn't have much support. Could even get decrewed over here. Quite risky. Where's that T70? It's switching sides again. Section trying to get in here, doing some damage. AT gun misses the 222. And that gets out of there. This does end up surviving. Got quite low though. So do the guards have to get out of the building. The double mortar half tracks. Showing their strength there. Come in here, but he's on prioritized vehicles, has to manually attack each one of those shots. Guys did fall a bit further behind on the VPs as well, but clock has stopped at the moment. But the 2 2 2 shown, you know, rebuild on it was actually a decent option for laggy AR. Got that AEC kill in the end. Not one of the best maps for it though, I think, you know. Has been converted. Better to go for it on the large maps where you can exploit the mobility of the 222s a bit more. Recon plane up, T70 on recon mode has to back out. Threat of the pack there, got his Zis barrage coming in. First shell well off target, and here come the mortar half tracks now. I'm working nicely with that. Hey, okay, Battle Phase 2 coming in for laggy AR. Tier 3 in production for Nima. Amazing is charging forwards. Pop the sweeper. Just at that stage. And you're getting flanked here. Guards need to come out of firing positions and continue to push. So it's pushing in as well. Here comes the penals. T70 coming around this side also. Guards pushing in now. Double fuel for the Axis at the moment. Allies need to do something about this. Is this barrage coming through onto the machine gun? Quick to dodge away. Guards back into firing positions. Such a fast cooldown on that mode considering it costs no munitions and cancel it instantly. Cover working nicely here for Breton. Making for a wipe here. Not quite enough damage. That was a close call though. Got a sniper in the mix now as well. Backed up with the anti tank gun. It'd be nice to see Breton to get a bunch of mines down. He's only got one covering this avenue. Ooh, Brandy is down. Dropped the LMG though. Able to recover it. Sniper getting to work there. No the kills so far. Comes in close to do some big damage. Takes a Faust in the pack. Misses its shot though. Otherwise might have been at risk it of dying. Clumped up. Maybe like they're trying to plant a mine. Mine does get triggered by the mortar half track. There's a four in here now for Nima. What are the allies doing? Okay, Katusha first for PS3, yes. I guess Baton's going straight for Hammer or Anvil. Anvil. I was thinking, you know, like first medium tank arriving at, uh, you know, just about 20 minutes when Nima went for two mortar half tracks and two 222s. Two, two, you know, we've delayed that by about four minutes. Like, what, what have the allies been doing? The rocket arty first. That's what they're doing. Vickers inside the trench here could be quite strong. Kicking in with some suppression. Here comes the 222 though. Sniper a little bit exposed. Oh, big suppression. Missed the Kachusha barrage. Doesn't look like a hit too much though. Here comes the Panzer IV. We've got double anti tank guns here though for PS3. Yes. 
Penza 4 right in the middle of both of them, taking some monster shots. Oh, somehow doesn't get another shot through. Panzer 4 diving in here, pops the smoke, jamming the vision. There goes the T-70, now the Katusha's in some trouble. We don't have any snaring squads back here to save this. Panzer 4 looking for the kill, the Katusha trying to get away, trying to hide behind the buildings. Oh, so far so good, no vision. Panzer 4 having trouble getting around the buildings itself. Backing away over here, but in come the double 222s. Gonna sandwich this Katusha. Go for the sniper first. Sniper goes down, so is the Panzer 4. Double 222 is going for the Katusha, and they get it. Another mine going off. The T gun smokes out. One 222 dies. Can he get away with the second? He's driving back towards the six pounder. No support coming in. He pops smoke again. Attack ground. No. Yes. There it goes and it connects as well. Ah, so it probably ended up being a relatively even trade after all that. Two 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 twos for a Kachusha. And a sniper. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, it's not like they need those 222s. Two they don't have uh, spawning scopes to make them really, really strong. Probably a decent time to tra trade them in while the medium armors start to arrive. P3 is getting set back a long way there. This is a bit risky, you know. Playing this kind of style without conscripts for those anti-tank grenades to expose yourself to the dives and didn't go for any PTRSs on the penals on his guards with the button potentially but with smoke available button not as effective the rifle nades out here taking out Nima close range Katusha Barrage and just annihilates Weapons still available for the recrew. The guards are there. Didn't get any closer. Pi's going to go for the recrew and the getaway alive as well. Here comes some Brens. He's trying to retreat. I think if the guards came out of firing positions, but got closer, maybe they could have prevented that. But Nima able to recover it. Didn't lose the Pi's either. The model that took damage on the Pi's. With the models that were crewing the weapon. Surprise themselves and go down. Oh, huge damage from the mortar there. Trench, not a safe place. Oh, they dropped one of those LMGs. The Green Deers come across to recover it, but getting suppressed on their way through. Can pick up drop slot weapons though, not drop team weapons. Not suppressed. Green Deers do die though, the Bren section's catching them. On retreat. A lot of green losses there for Laggy AR. Yeah, yeah. Take a quick look here. He's lost four. That was one pie The Panther has arrived from the fatherland. Getting those mines down. Big damage from the heavy barrage there. Churchill coming in now as well. We've got a Panther for Laggy AR though. Pretty good answer to the Churchill. That's the penetration to get through its armor reliably. Currently shooting at the infantry though, not on prioritized vehicles. Machine gun upgrading at this stage. Here comes the anti tank gun to support the Churchill. Track in a little bit of trouble. Good Katusha Barrage, but quick reactions from Nima getting out of there. Looks like Nima trying to save for the Tiger, getting quite close to that now. 30 fuel. Guys have been doing better on the VPs. Now I've lost about 30 in the time that the Axis have lost about 70, so 
They are fighting back in that department for sure. Our opponents are seizing a sector. Some pressure on the six pounder here. Pick up the back connecting as well. Close. Looking to stack up some machine gun damage. Here comes the six pounder. Got the recon plane up for Nima, spotting for these mortar half tracks. T34 now for PS3. Yes, he's brought in some bombs. On the other side of the map, though. Good dodging by Laggy AR. High fuel now for that Tiger. He's got the manpower just about as well, so let's see what that can do. He has to contend with this T-34 now. Max build 10% faster, 50% faster. Pack 43 is built faster, okay. Attack grounding through the smoke here. Is there smoke from his own uh, mortar pit? Maybe it's from the Panther. So like that got quite low. Ooh, section down over here. Don't really see a good reason for that hap happening. <laughs> Gets a Bren, so now we've got two Grenadiers for Leg AR with double LMGs. Drives onto the machine gun and gets the D crew on it again. Double AT guns pushing up on the Tiger. One getting through. D crew weapon completely destroyed. Packs there. T34 taking a hit. Oh, and the double mortar half tracks. Look at the damage they did to those double AT guns. They need to back out for healing now, even. In front of this Churchill. And throw it back, repairing still. No sweeper upgrade on those Pios, so they don't have the repair speed boost. Trying to get in range for the Faust. Not able to do so. Tiger pushing in. Maybe if it had uh, Blitz from Vet, it could have closed this gap, but. T-34 stopping here, Tiger continuing on his path forwards, he's dropping the recon plane, no, this could be devastating, PS3, yes, loses the Katusha, T-34 had a ram opportunity here, does not go for it though, and loses the T-34 as well. Ambitious stuff there from Nima, but it pays dividends, knocks out both of PS3's units. Very risky, driving forwards like that, I mean, this is common place for mines, P3 is maybe slacking off. In fact, he doesn't have any mines down there. With the, uh, you know, double combat engineer built. Hasn't had a T70 that he needs to repair for a long time now, so what are those combat engineers doing apart from planting mines? Really? Should have been uh, top priority. Rebuilding the Katusha first. Damage onto the Panther there. Good penetration luck. And six pounders. A smoke out from the mortar of Laggy AR. So it's his mortar maybe. Using the smoke a bit more. In the mortar pit. Good chunk of damage onto the Tiger here. The mine's getting triggered but... By the mortar strikes. Not by units. MG on the ground there. Oh boy, that's not a trade you want to take. I think definitely prefer to have the MG42 instead of the Bren. Oh, 
we got a good mine. Got triple cap against the Allies. They're under a lot of pressure. PS3 is losing those vehicles. Costing them quite dearly. Baton also struggling to cap this VP. Heavy mortar strike out the back though. He's gone for a quad to shoot down those recon planes. Has locked into Lindley's assault. Got enough munis for the planes as well. Oh, what was that? He just AFK'd them in there. Horrible play from Baton. Looks like he went. It actually looked like he went AFK there. Maybe he did. Shushu Barrage over here is having trouble locating it. Oh, and he knocks out the pack. That should be the green light for Baton to push in here. Two Panthers, though. He's got the double anti tank guns. Can he finish off this deep creep pack? They get uh, quick to jump back on top of it. He's dropping down the planes, though. A lot of damage onto the Churchill. Planes, not quite enough damage to decrew the pack again. Good amount of damage onto the Panthers, but same story. A lot of repairs required on that Churchill. There's the one engineer. Not fish it up. Oh, there it goes. I think I was actually targeting the mortar that was in the zone and catches the pack back there as well. Mortar half track down for Nima. Cheeky uh, camouflage this there, getting the job done. This is hit by 60 VPs, so maybe close to 70 now. This is VET 2 now. Got that reload bonus. Gonna get it out of the way. Does not have grenades, so can't do much against those trenches without the mortar pit. Dodges out to the side. Looks like their rifle nade was onto their trench exit. Decent idea from Leg AAR, but Baton coming out to the far side, the safe side, so doesn't work out. Decent idea though. Tiger pushing in again. No sweepers. No mines though. Katusha. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. There was a mine. Actually, there's, there's another one there as well. I could have at a glance couldn't see them on the green background. Probably T guns pushing in here, but they're on camouflage mode, so they're crawling forwards. Here they come now with a bit more gusto. For one hit there. Flak pans are coming in from the side though. They're going to have to respond to this. Guards on the move. And it looks like that's going to save the day. The Tiger's going to get out of there. Churchill switching sides here. Double Panthers out back for leg AR. Not up to much. Biggest inside the trench here. Working well. Need onto the trench. Not enough damage though. Should try on this far side. Pack in the center actually under some pressure, so Churchill kind of safe to push in. Gets a good hit on the green ears. They could go down now. And they do. Smoke out. Big ten guns under pressure. Oh look at that. There's actually a mine all the way back here from PS3S. Lucky he has sweepers on that pyre. Looks like the allies are licking their lips. They want to knock out this wounded tiger. Has to repair it all the way back up to full health to get rid of that engine crit from the mine. As opposed to like an engine crit from uh, an anti-tank grenade. Churchill coming in here. If it can get onto the rear armor of the tiger, it'll do all right, but not on the frontal armor. Anti-tank guns. Coming up, they're a little bit slow coming around the corner. The pack's coming in from the side now. Baton scared. 
complaint is in the center. Double A tank guns, what are they doing over here? Look at Shusha Barrage forcing back the pack. But it looks like P3 is going to back out. Tiger's going to survive. Oh, Panther's coming in here. Vickers goes down. These tank guns have pulled all the way back. Oh, the Katusha's in some trouble. So is the Churchill. He's popping the smoke. The double H tank guns coming across here. He needs to pop this speed boost on this one. This Vesic up. Churchill trying to play evasively. Driving around in the smoke unpredictably. But uh, the unpredictability is not working out. Here come the double AT guns. Big damage. Where are the snares though? No snares. Here come the double anti tank guns of PS3. Yes. Big damage. Oh, and one panther goes down. That vetted up anti-tank gun. Really good rate of fire. Looks out one panther. So getting some revenge there at least. S3S yes, lost one of his penals though in the meantime. Rumbia now from Lake AR. Greedy is down on the far side. Man, a lot of losses. AT guns getting in for some big damage. Those were my attack rounds though, a lot of misses. Guards dead, by the way, as well. Huge losses. Seems like the Axis do have uh, the large army sizes and more... Just more tanks. Way more tanks. Allies at the moment, you're relying on their anti-tank guns, lacking snares. Are at a bit of a risk. Capture there. He can play up. Looks like he wants to come in here for maybe another caddy kill. There's two of them back here. Chish Barrage onto the VP. Jams the capture. You can just uh, shoot at trenches with your tanks these days. Tank size on them is a lot bigger. You can actually land those shots not as frustrating as trenches used to be at least you have a tank size of one it's impossible to, <laughs> to shoot at them so irritating I mean I suppose oh coming in for the Katusha kill he drives right past the triple anti-tank guns and gets it daring stuff there from Nima snare goes off Triple A tank guns lining up now. Panzer IV trying to smoke, but there's just so many AT guns there. Hard to imagine he gets away. He's missing. And come the green ears now. And there it goes. Panzer IV down. In terms of resources, maybe it's a good trade for PS3, yes, but... Nima maybe has a, a few more resources spare to trade with. So perhaps it's actually better for the Axis in the end. Guards, troops ready for action. Come out to do some capping now. Brumbeer quite low on health, out for repairs. Only one squad to repair with at the moment for laggy AR, so quite slow getting back onto the field. Eighteen kills for the mortar half track, respectable. Oh, here we go. Triple A T guns camouflage. Could this be the end of the mortar half track? Close range caddy. Good dodging out to the side from Nima, though. Here we go. Triple A T guns lining up. Smoke. Well activated, though. Gets out of there safely. You can't play shot down very quickly by the quad. Got oh, oh, a uh, salt squad. So, actually, you know. Lagier has been using the smoke a lot. And now with the assault infantry section, the Ton can actually work well in the smoke. I fly bouncing at shot. Ooh, big hit from the Brumbia. Almost loses the assault section as soon as he got it. 
Firefly off to a bad start. Target up to Vet 2 now, it's got the range boost. Pushing through with the Firefly, gotta be careful. Double anti tank gun pressure though. Making something happen here. Maybe the mortar pit could get a heavy barrage out the back here. That'd be pretty effective. So he's going to back off though. P on the ground. In fact, that's like two relatively fresh squad of guards rebuilt by PS3, yes. We need to pick up the LMG. God, I mean, uh, Penal's doing great work in close range, and Nima ends up losing Gradius. A little bit sloppy. Tying around in the corner, but the Vet Freeze, this is there. Don't want to mess around with that. And the uh, Axis are lacking indirect fire. Haven't seen any worthers from them. So the Allied support weapons starting to show their strength now, late in the match once they're vetted up. No worthless to speak of. Just got that mortar half track. Katusha barrage. It is dodging out to the side. And they get out of uh, most of trouble. The enemy has broken our supply lines. On. has enough resources for the strafing support again but we have the flak panzer for Nima so anti-air on both teams it's dropping in the planes now though looking to get something going huge damage in the river from the machine gun plane and then targeting that flak panzer dead Flak Panzer dead at the worst possible time as the planes get called in. Oh boy, this is bad news for the Axis. Axis getting forced quite far back. Greedy is down the center as well. Pumes capping over here. The side also open for capture. On the sections now. This mortar though for laggy AR has been pretty pretty good for him so far. Rebuild on the mortar half track for Nima. I think this is the, the wrong way to go. He should get the worfer. Not like he needs to save fuel by going for like the cheaper mortar half track, you know. He's, he's got the fuel to go for the worfer if he wants it. It does cost quite a lot more manpower overall as well, I suppose. But much more lethal. Huge damage on the Brumbeer. Close call for it getting around the corner. He's had a phosphorus grenade. Bit of damage there. Remember that the damage over time from that phosphorus grenade is quite weak compared to some other forms of phosphorus. Lower DPS. Made out, no dodge. Brombeer not fully repaired though. Smoke out again from Leg AR trying to get this cap cooking, but Firefly coming around the corner. Got a fresh Churchill out now for Baton. Frag bombs coming in for Nemo on this side. Should stun the Firefly. No, somehow did not stun it. 
didn't even know that it was possible for it to take damage and not get stunned from frag bombs. Weird. You'll find it very bracing up there. Didn't mention this, but a muni's cash down from Nima. Greeny is uh, struggling now against the vetted penals. Outnumbered. Three squads of guards for P3S. Yes. Tiger like getting pretty well contained by the triple anti tank guns as well. Pretty much bang even on VPs now, but allies in control of them. Bear is vested up. Bunker Buster on cooldown already though. Smoke out, Panther coming in. Gonna fire a Faust, not enough damage though. Churchill just has so much health. Doesn't end up taking an engine crit. Double anti tank guns coming in from the side. And there's so much scarier with all that stages of vet between them. I really need that Werfer, even if you don't outright destroy the AT gun, at least decrowing it. Clearing off that veterancy makes such a big difference. Is this going to be the end of one of these more than half tracks? No, quick to react with the smoke. Getting out of harm's way. I didn't even notice it, but Nima never went for the machine gun on his tiger. Very strange. This is desperate to cap in the center, but under so much pressure at this stage. Yeah, I did end up getting a second pyre for some faster repairs and has finally got a Werfer out. Here we are, 48 minutes into the game. Oh boy, the double AT guns. Good attack round work and the Tiger dies. Oh, that is disastrous for Nima. Good attack round work though for PS3, yes. Mine with the sweeper there, gonna try to take care of that. Has to be careful with that mortar pit getting to work though. Damage will be a turning fire. Your T gun under pressure here, it could get decrewed. Comes the Katusha as well, this could be devastating for laggy AR. The Werfer strike on the double anti tank guns though in return, and both of them get decrewed. This is exactly what the Axis needed. This gets obliterated though out the back. Panther coming back in. Does still kind of need that anti tank gun. Maybe it's going to steal away one or two of these. Oh, but all the greenies are too low. He'd lose a green squad if he tried to crew them. MG dead as well. That mortar pit, I think. Getting the job done. Got the pack over here. Really need to destroy these decrewed six pounders. There they go. Great worth a strike there. Exactly what the allies needed. I mean, Axis needed to fight back. The enemy is taking our territory. Oh, and there goes a the combat engineer squad. Pistrius not paying attention. Grindy's winning in the middle as well. Allies losing right across the map here. So bit of a struggle for them. Oh boy, the Katusha could have been in some trouble there if the Grandiers managed to get in Fausting range. The Quad could come in to assist over here though. Salt section coming into the center. So close on the VPs. 
similar in terms of army sizes as well. Okay, planes dropped out the back for Baton. I'm going to clear the path. LMG Greenblob, very strong, but Katusha should be about ready to fire again. I like bouncing. There's a Katusha Barrage. Close Ranger as well. Ooh, Green down, another one nearly did also. Laggy AR dodging out to the side, trying to avoid this Grenadier getting wiped. Doesn't want to retreat through the rocket. Such and hot pursuit though, looking for the wipe. Planes out the back doing some damage and they actually spray the uh, Werfer. That's out of harm's way though. Grenadiers go down. Sixty nearly get ice. Anti-tank planes coming in for laggy AI. He's making his move. But he takes a sniff. Got the AT gun there. He dodges out to the side with the Firefly connecting. PTRS is finishing the job. And the uh, quad shooting down those planes so they don't come through for a second pass. Maybe AR, uh, I guess he thought he had a moment there he could get something done, but without the second pass from those anti-tank you know, anti planes, not enough damage. Ran into like basically the only squad in the game that has an anti-tank grenade as well. The Panther, unfortunate. We are suffering losses. It is down to the Soviet infantry. And have tracks quick to react from Nima. No munitions now, though. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Couple hits in there from the Firefly, but the Brumbeer forcing back the infantry fast. And for a short bunker buster, just to rattle off a couple extra shells so he can make sure he holds on to the VP. Good. Shells in there, that's the heavy mortar strike. He is off to the side at the moment though, capping. Tight capping war at this stage, but you see that Baton has just a much larger army overall. Picked up a second Firefly as well, I didn't even notice he had two of them. It's going to make it very hard for that Brumbia to do anything. No infantry based anti tank at all for laggy AR. Oh, he's tipped grenades actually, by the way. It's going to be a phosphorus. What a half track goes down for Nima. He had a good run with it, but the anti tank guns finally finish him off. There's the Vet 3 one, looks like. Oh, nasty! Right on the river. Big hit from the T 34. Okay, let's complete the capture. Just all out capping wars at this stage for both teams. That misses that shot. Grenadier's going to come in for the Faust. Yeah, he's going to expose the pack to the penals through the center. And at that range, they'll decrew it very quickly. Oh, look at how fast it's going down. Now that he's trying to run away with it, doesn't have the heavy cover from the gun shield anymore from being set up. Very quick to decrew once that happened. Leggy AR slow to dodge this one. Here he goes. It's out there before the second volley comes through at least. Penal's coming in deep, decrying the mortar. Real nuisance back here. Big hit from the Brumbeer though. Could go down maybe. Yes, okay. Big Brumbeer. That's a drain for the Axis though, down to 47. back home, rebuilding some engineers for repairs on that. Okay, 
Good job with that Brumbia, just poking its head out both sides, making it hard for these fireflies to get in range here. Ooh! Catches the assault section here as well. Churchill needs to get a bit more active here, it's just camped out on the sides. Axis are lacking anti tank. Nima going for a Stug. Yeah, the Churchill needs to be more active here. Here it comes now. The Vic is on that now. A bit one. Here we go, Churchill. Perhaps gonna lead the charge. Little fireflies right there. Axis in some trouble though. 27 VPs. Looks like Nemo gonna make a play for this side, and it's gonna work as well. All the guards got forced off. Churchill charging in here. Forcing back to Brombia. Fireflies coming in for a couple hits as well, only one of them connecting. Churchill with that extra damage from the Vickers, a lot more formidable. Worth a strike, not very good connections. Does manage to get the pin off though, jams the capture. Stug in some trouble with those fireflies connecting. Fireflies can three hit the Stug as well. Be careful. Could come in for a crew grenade here. It's a decent opportunity for it. Make a Chisha Brothers. Big damage on the Grenadiers. The Panzer Grenadiers coming in. Find the anti tank guns a little bit exposed. 34 on the other side, taking some damage from the Stug. Which is away from the bundle nade. The guards could go down now, though. Fireflies coming in, big damage on the Brumbeer, that Brumbeer could go down, the Fireflies chasing in, he loses sight, attack rounds, going to be the answer, but he misses. Huge damage from the Mortar Pit into the center though. Max is having to get out of there. Guards charging ahead, one squad of them went down though. We complain them for piece 3 yes this time. Dodge on the bundle nades. Oh, the Panzer Grand is getting hammered by that mortar pit. Rebuild on the uh, penals. You don't see that too often. Not having much luck though without veteran seat struggling against the Vet 3 Grand ears. Going to firing positions mode here. Up made out. Didn't deactivate it, no dodge at all. Guards on the run now. Churchill out repairing. Green is gonna complete the decapture. What about the capture though? Here comes some combat engineers looking to jam that. Water pit still just showing its strength, doing some big damage every time. Combat engineers coming out to the far side as well. Chisha Barrage with the strike. Oh, and the section goes down. Ooh. And he lost a green idea to, to that Kachusha. Axis desperate. Going to be back on the drain shortly. Is this there connecting? T-34 staying in here, trying to force away the Pegrins. Ooh! Pegrins trying to decrease the Zisp, but set up. Here comes the bundle nade, forcing it back. Seven points left. Off the capture here. Five points left, but Axis don't have a hope of getting in and finishing the job on any of the other sectors. And there you go. 
scrappy game there. A lot of losses on both sides, but uh, in the end, the Allies able to close the show. Baton, I think, you know, just keeping his armor alive very effectively throughout that match. Good use of the double anti tank guns as well. Up until they died, really helping out the uh, Allies in that battle. I think, you know, Nima continuing to invest into these more half tracks. Not, not so sure. I think the Werfers would have been a better option. So, like, as soon as Laggy AR got the Werfer and knocked out those double AT guns, that really helped him out. If he still had some more Panthers at that stage, maybe they could have been a bit more successful. Unfortunately for Nima, you know, losing that flak half track right as the planes were coming in. Didn't have a good answer in terms of anti-air after that. And yeah, we're just good cheeky uh, anti-tank gun movements from PS3S with the camouflage mode on. Really helping them out a lot throughout this match. And you were pretty good with the reactions though, you know, when he took a shot from those on these more half tracks. Very quick to smoke and get out of there. Did a pretty good job of keeping these alive against that option. But yeah, GG. Close back and forth one, but allies come out on top. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.